BC's Early Detection Rapid Response Program is in place to identify, contain, and eradicate new invasive species. But it wasn't in place in the late 60s when about a dozen wall lizards were released on the Saanich Peninsula. This is a wall lizard. This is a male, and it's the biggest one I've caught so far. At 21 centimeters long, next to it is the alligator lizard. The wall lizard's about the same size, but much more slender. The tail is more slender. The legs are longer. The alligator lizard is native to Vancouver Island. The European wall lizard is an invasive species. It's been here since probably 1967, and it is now super abundant. In fact, it's been described as ridiculously abundant on Vancouver Island. Estimated at 500,000, as far north as Campbell River. They're on Denman Island. There is, there's one record in Duncan, uh, Nanaimo, Mill Bay, Shawnigan Lake, and then from the Shorts Bay Terminal all the way down to Machosan. And one sighting in Vancouver, one in a Soyuz. The specimen in a Soyuz actually was a stowaway in a shipment of grapes from Vancouver Island to a Soyuz. And luckily that lizard was caught. So it is now out of population. Hanke is learning everything he can about these invaders. The wall lizard does really well in urban environments. That's why it's exploded over our region, because we just develop more and more housing districts and rock walls and backyard structure is perfect for them. Part of the research I do is, is to draw information from the public, since I can't be everywhere. And I got sent these eggs. Until now, we didn't have any eggs in the collection, so now I know the size. So what do they eat? I've seen them eating ants, probably spiders, beetles, flies. Actually, I actually got a photograph of a wall lizard that's eating wasps, which is really neat. Also neat, for a scientist anyway. When I caught it, it, it pooped in my hand, and uh, in that was an earwig. So I know that they eat earwigs. <laughs> that's how we find this stuff out. Hanky has footage of a wall lizard eating another wall lizard, and a report of a wall lizard killing a young garter snake. So I'm kind of worried that garter snakes, as well as our sharp-tailed snake, could be impacted by the wall lizard. So can this invasive species be removed? I think we're stuck with them. Well, the original population was from north-central Italy, so uh, the climate there is just like this. It's a Mediterranean climate. I'm just hoping that we don't get them in the BC mainland, because they could spread far and wide south into the U.S. Report your wall lizard sightings to Hanke through the links tab on our website, and you can be part of this research. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.